Did you start playing rugby when you were very young? I played all sports. I didn't really concentrate in rugby till maybe I was 15, I think. I'd encourage all kids to play everything. I think don't stick to one sport. I think you can stick to whatever you enjoy, but have a, have a balance and go out and play all the sports. I think team sports are great. They do wonders for friendships. They do wonders for, I suppose, your diet, nutrition, and get that was, you out that, of the that, house. Was my, that was my own downfall, to be honest. My, my career with Kerry football, <laughs> there was my diet and uh, lack of discipline, I suppose, Ronan, to be kind of quite honest, really, you know? Ah, I... I I don't have anything funny to say, so I can't <laughs> say it. <laughs> they were shouting funny things at me in the side when I wouldn't run. Yeah, I do. I get down to Mallow quite a bit. I was in Killarney. Um, I try and go as often. It's a great day. It's, it's very relaxing and um, it's enjoyable. It doesn't involve drinking. I suppose yeah. that's what I'm trying to avoid because you're struggling for a few days after that. So I think... Um, it's, it's very social, it's, it's very enjoyable, yeah. and, and you get out and about. You wouldn't be as old as I am, no, Ronan. I'd have a, I'd have a few years on you with the grey hairs oh, on the right side. good few, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for that. I thought we, were, I thought we, I thought we had a plan here. Yes. But um, what, so I suppose just like, say, jockeys who'd be kind of heading up in their late 20s and would find pressure from younger jockeys coming up, would you find the same, no, with younger rugby players to be um, fitter? Yeah, uh, I don't know about fitter, but I probably stronger. An awful lot of them like have been built on the culture of weight since they were maybe 16. While we wouldn't have started weights maybe till 21, 22. But I wouldn't change that for one bit. I think sometimes skill is neglected, and I suppose uh, brain power is neglected sometimes too. And I think if you're smart upstairs, you'll get away with it, and you can be the best player on the pitch. So. Um, yeah, there's a big culture of big, strong boys and stuff, and you need that in certain positions, but you need skillful players as well, so yeah. I think rugby caters for everything. John, when you're taking some of those kicks, I suppose you, the, your mental fitness would be probably way more important at that point, Joe, say, when you're, when you're going for that kick, there's 80,000 people watching, and you have to nail it. Yeah, exactly, yeah, that is, that is a big thing, but as you say, you would be physically tired, but it's just a question of getting used to it and building up... Um, that experience there are days when you miss them but you have to be reliable and kick them five days out of six and thankfully that's what's going on with me i suppose yeah because i see say sometimes say either with say football players or soccer players or hurlers and same thing with rugby players i think if you get the first one right does that take the pressure off you no i don't believe in that for one bit I, that annoys me i think that's that's a mental weakness on, on, a, yeah. on, another on, on my behalf, behalf. Uh, no, <laughs> not, no. But just in terms of I, yeah. every kick has to be treated exactly the same and I think, uh, because, you know, I went through a st stage where I missed the first one and kicked them all, so I think it's, it's different things, you know, so I could be talking a long while about this. It's quite specific, so I won't bore yeah. people. <laughs> I don't think they'd find it boring at all. Is there a huge rivalry now between yourselves and Leinster? Uh, yeah, there would be, yeah. But there's... Is, have we any Leinster supporters here? <laughs> well, you, you, know, you know what the gate is. Oh, sorry, no, was the mic turned on, Jimmy? Thanks very much for that. Is there any Connacht supporters here? Yeah! Well, Ronan was saying earlier on, you'll definitely win the set dancing. <laughs> Only joking. Is, is there a huge rivalry between yourselves and Munster, or, uh, Leinster? Ah, there's rivalry with a lot of teams. I think we've set high standards for self. Leinster now have, have been the better team for the last year, so <laughs> we have to try and catch them up with them. But you look at the progress made by all the teams, especially Connacht, I think this year we're the best Irish team, so... I think um, you know, teams are improving all the time. We've, we've come close in Europe and we've been knocking on the door each year and that's a measure of our consistency. But uh, there are very good teams out there, but you're talking about small margins. So uh, I think um, there's a lot to work on, but it's exciting times. What was it like bringing the Heineken Cup back to Limerick for the first time? Yeah, it was great, obviously, for the first time, yeah. But... Um, that's more relief, you know, I think it's only in time that you appreciate it, but that was really important that we won. It's, I suppose, important that you keep um, 
you know, I keep trying, but I suppose the only proof in the pudding is when you win something and you have to you have to put that in your CV and move on. Yeah, because I suppose uh, you, you win one Heineken Cup and then you have to kind of, OK, we've won it now, we just have to go do it all over again. Is it hard to kind of build yourself up after no, having a bit of a break? I don't think it's not. No, and we've won it twice and we try and win it again this year, but so will every other team and that's the level yeah. we're at. So I think that's, that's the ultimate goal, but there's one team in Europe will achieve that and... We'll give it our best shot, but who's to say where we'll end up in the end yeah. of May?